David, good to see you. Uh, look, let's start with a bit of reflection on last night. Uh, I mean, it's only been a few hours since you spoke to the yeah. press, but a few hours since the game. But how are you feeling knowing that you topped the group for a third consecutive season? Uh, terrific for, for the club and for the players. Uh, gives us a little bit of breather in, in February as well, instead of those, those playoff games. But uh, look, please, the boys done a really good job in Europe. Uh, third year in a row, we've, we've topped the group. So really pleased about that. You mentioned about avoiding that playoff in February. Obviously, at the moment, the fixture congestion is quite severe. Mm -hmm. How much of a breather does that give you looking ahead into the new year, knowing that you've got mm -hmm. that little bit of a break in February? Well, I think when you're successful, uh, you find that there's very little time and we want to be successful. We want to keep uh, having the games in Europe. But uh, any chance you can you know, get yourself a bit of time, then we'll, we'll try and take it. Thankfully, uh, the result went well for us last night. Now he's given us that opportunity to get uh, to get some time. Yeah. What is it about these European nights that over the last few years, certainly under the lights at London Stadium, have have been so special? The atmosphere just feels so different. Well, I think that uh, the club been back in Europe for the first time, you know, a few years ago has been really important to us, and uh, I think the supporters appreciated that as well. I think we've had some really good nights, but I think more importantly, the group stages have always been, you know. A little bit tighter, some of them, but I think when it gets to the big games, and over the years we've had Seville and Leon here, and AZ Alkmaar last year at different times, really big games. So uh, we're looking forward to the to the latter stages now, and hopefully having, having some more big nights here at the London Stadium. Well, some strong performances last night. Uh, a lot of praise given to Edson Alvarez scoring his first goal for the club. Um, not just on last night, but what have you made of his start to his West Ham career since joining in the summer? I think he's made a, a big impression quickly. Uh, his performances, he's helped us get some good results in the first part of the season. Whereas the year before, you know, it took the took the new players a little bit longer to settle in. I think the the boys this year have settled in much quicker. I still generally think that uh, they're they're still getting used to the intensity of the Premier League, the the regularity, the the games. You know, their culture probably means that they're not used to playing football probably over this time of the season. Uh, so those things become different for, for certain players. But uh, I have to say he's done really well and started, started great for us. What's he like away from the pitch? What's he like as a person? Yeah, he's a good boy, very quiet. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, getting used to probably coming to live in this country and settle in, probably not enjoying the cold at the moment like, like most people. <laughs> but, uh, no, he's, uh, he's settled in very well. I was going to say, nobody's looking forward or enjoying the cold at the moment. Um, no. look, moving ahead to the weekend, uh, the game's come thick and fast again. Uh, the challenge of Wolves, what have you made of their start to the season? Well, I think Gary O'Neill's done a great job. Uh, you know, I think he's done, he done a good job at Bournemouth as well. And When you're a young coach, you need that opportunity. You need to be given a bit of time, you know. Can't always go right. So I think that uh, I think he's doing a really good job at, at Wolves at the moment. He's, he, they look a lot steadier than maybe they've been uh, uh, over a few years, but uh, you know we've got to go and do our business and try and keep our good home form going and try and win again. And Craig Dawson returns as well. Looking forward to seeing him. Yeah, we are because he played a huge part in where where we we started to where we are now. He was a big part of it. Uh, we're disappointed that that he had left, but you know there was other reasons behind it. But uh, he's a good lad and. You know, I'm sure he's helping Wills as well at the moment. One thing I, I didn't mention on, on Gary, we saw him go on to Monday Night Football and be very open about how he set his team up to take on his former side, Bournemouth. Uh, was that? Did you catch that? Did you see when he went on there? Yeah, I saw the I saw the show, and uh, you know, I thought it, I thought it was very good. So, yeah, that's that's part of it. I think there's a new. Some openness coming from some younger coaches, which is, uh, I'm sure, pleasing for the for the media. Uh, so probably from my my era, maybe we're not quite so open as what maybe the new younger ones are. I think you might have just answered my question. Will we see you on there discussing your <laughs> tactics at any stage? Well, that's a, that's a different story. Uh, I think once you've, uh, you know, we've got a lot of games to go before, you know, you get to a level where you feel as if that you want to be comfortable going on. I've had a lot of games, different levels, different games, different teams. So, uh, you know, at the moment, I'm I'm happy to sit quiet and not say too much. 
And, and finally, I know it's early. I know you've just come in. You probably haven't assessed the players, but was there, is there any team news update, any yeah. additional concerns from last night? No, we'll need to wait and see uh, Edson Alvarez get a knock in his hip and uh, we'll need to wait and see how, how that is. We'll assess the players when we get the chance, you know. It's such a quick turnaround to, to sort of do a press conference immediately again right after it. Cheers, David. I appreciate Thank you. it. Sorry. David, you Well, I have to say, I think Wolves have always been a good side. It's not that for a minute that I think that they've not. I think Wolves have had good teams, good players. Uh, and I think that the, the, the managers you mentioned are, are both in their own rights, very, very experienced managers. I think Gary's come in and, uh, you know, and done a good job and steadied them and got them playing well. So I think there is differences. Uh, but I think at the moment they're, they probably look as if they're in pretty good shape. And, uh, you know, we're up against another another difficult Premier League game. Obviously, the tough fixture is coming up after the Wolves game, Liverpool in the Cup, Manchester United at home, and of course Arsenal. How much of a confidence boost will it be for this side off the back of last night's result to go and go three games after the Wolves game with a win at home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we we want to try and continue with a pretty good home form. You know, we know we can it can be even better, but we're we need it to to keep going and as you said we've got the home games coming up which we want to use to, to our advantage so uh, yeah we don't need to think too much now about European football to the next part of March before we I think before we, we get that so at the moment we're looking forward to, to the games trying to hang in with the boys at the top end of the league and see if we can keep in amongst them I don't think there's enough time between the games and all that would be the answer to that. Does it mean that we're going to rotate? I don't know. Uh, I'll see how the game's going, I'll see how the players are performing and where their energy levels are, but it's the same for all managers this time of the year. We've all got the same dilemmas, you know. Uh, we've all got the same amount of games. So this period has nothing to do with, you know, so much with European games. It's maybe more to do with some of like we've got a League Cup game next week as well. Other teams don't have, so you're, you have uh, that as well and uh, hopefully we can try and get through that which would give us other games in February which can continues to make it busy but all the teams at this time of the year are, are heavily uh, a heavy workload I should say Yeah we're looking at it we, we understand that you know I think they'll I think they're available for the Brighton game, I believe, but I might not be sure. I could have that wrong. I think it's the 2nd of January or 3rd of January, that game, yeah. yeah.